Hello and welcome back. This is episode four of the non-league to the Champions League. And I think this episode is going to be a very spicy one. Welcome back to the episode and I hope you guys have had a good time since you was last here. If you are new and you haven't yet, make sure you have subscribed. Make sure you like this video as well. Everyone like this video, that's so important. Let's get this series growing. And also you can leave a comment, all of that helps the algorithm. So in the last episode, we had a bit of a mixed emotions when it comes to the results. I mean, we was kind of inconsistent. We won one, we drew one and we lost one. So we last left off when we played Chesterfield, which was a 2-2 draw, and since then we went to Eastleigh, we beat them 5-0, we went away to Notts County where we've got a, well, we got a bit of a hiding, then at home to Dagenham Red Bridge, we won 2-0. Again, another home fixture against Grimsby, where we won 3-1. Then we had a home fixture in the FA 4th qualifying round, where we won 3-1. And against Maidenhead United, we went away and we got another 4-1 victory. And in this episode, we're going to be playing Yeovil Town, who are a very decent team. They're higher up in the table as well. We've got Altrinum as well. I believe that's how you pronounce the name. And then we've got Southend in the FA Cup first round, which is going to be such a huge round for us we need to qualify we need to go through those rounds and then hopefully that boosts our finances and we could be more flexible in the market and we also have to give a special shout out to Tavon Campbell he's absolutely on fire against Eastley he got two but Taron got a hat trick against Dagenham Redbridge he got one as well he didn't get one against Grimsby he didn't get one against Grimsby but he did get one against Maidenhead he also got a hat trick in the FA Cup fourth qualifying round against Billericay that team <laughs> so that is what our previous results look like and if we look at the top goal scorers now as well Tavon Campbell on 14 goals and then the next top goal scorer is Mats Kreshma with four but the tactic has also played its part in the recent good form and a lot of you guys in the comments as well wanted me to go a little bit deeper into the tactics, speak a little bit more about it and look at the personal instructions as well, which is something we can look at. This actually has changed. This was a target forward on support. We've changed it to attack. The deep line playmaker on defend as well. At times, I switched it to support, especially for those home games as well. When we do play at home now, I tend to go for the support rather than defend. We just have a better attacking output, basically. We have attacking mentality, so we're trying to get the plays further forward. We're trying to take advantage of those wings, and we're trying to get plays further forward as well and overload in those attacking areas, get the ball further forward fairly quickly and fairly directly as well. The attacking width is set to fairly wide, so we're kind of focusing in those wider areas, but nothing too exclusive. For the approach play, we're going to pass it into space, try and take advantage of the advanced forward. That's really what I was looking for, but also those wingers on attack that will be looking to get further forward and stretching the play and play out from the defense as well without this i find that we may lose possession too often because we are using two ball playing defenders so without this instruction sometimes they may look to initiate that counter attack too soon and with the tempo i slowed it down a little bit based on my players quality i know that not everybody's going to have a good first touch so there's no point playing the ball quickly where that might require a decent first touch for the dribbling we're going to run at the defense we're trying to win some free kicks some cheap free kicks some penalties as well which seems to be working quite well in transition when the possession has been lost we are going to regroup get back to our defensive shape which is that 4-4-2 we're trying to get two banks of four and then that two up front pressing the opposition from the get-go and then when the possession has been won we will look to counter-attack our opposition when the goalkeeper is in possession of the ball he's just going to look for the goalkeeper or the central defenders out of possession we are engaging much higher but our defensive line is set to standard now our defenders are not the fastest players at all so a standard defense line anything higher than that is fairly risky the defensive width is set to standard the trigger press more often and prevent that short goalkeeper distribution now for the player instruction not everybody will have one but the fullbacks both of them are instructed to sit more narrower the two central defenders are instructed to close down less what i did notice is that 
when the opponents approached my defenders a lot of the times they did step out leaving a big gap behind them which was very easy for the opponents to play through so i feel that close down less makes them stand up a little bit more and a little less eager to try and win the ball back and step out from that defensive line in central midfield we have a deep line playmaker on that defensive duty but he's going to be closing down more and marking tighter his midfield partner is a central midfielder he's going to be taking more risk with the ball trying to unlock that defense and he also has marked tighter as the instruction as well the wingers they are wingers on attack but they also have that instruction to mark tighter up top to von campbell the advanced forward marking tighter and the target forward is also marking tighter so that there is the play instructions that is the tactic in a little bit more detail and now let's get stuck right in to that first game of the stream so we are slowly approaching that game against Yeovil Town we are away and they are currently six in the table so they are fairly decent we are progressing in the table we're going higher up they kind of dropped in form but they are still six and they still are a fairly decent side let's get to that tactical meeting forget the tactical meeting and let's select that team for this game so we do have a few tied legs and to key players as well we can see joe mcnerney taron sal shotten lewis britain who i don't think plays very often tommy block as well he's fairly tired and so is leo hamblin so we have to be careful in this game matt kreshma absolutely has to play this game i think i'm gonna go with george oakley again maybe we're gonna start any f young today we're going to start with any f young Joe McNerney, I know you're tired, but we cannot play champion. I'm sorry. I mean, just looking at the acceleration, the agility and the pace, you can see the reasons why I'm not too big on playing him today, especially away from home. I'm sure we can get Sal Shotton on the bench. Maybe we can get him in the team as well. So our central defence, uh, it's risky. They are fairly tired, but it is a risk I'm prepared to take or make. And then in central midfield, oh, we're going to get Tyron on the bench and take out our central midfielder, Solomon. And that is our team. For the next game let's get stuck straight into it i mean it's probably one of my best shouts to use in team talk but i just love telling the guys there is no pressure just go out there and have some fun but the defenders i have faith midfielders i have faith attackers i have faith as well let's kick off let's get into this very important game it is important it is important where are you going lad so the game has kicked off yovo nil walking nil in the first 10 minutes we've had two shots at goal but nothing too clear cut so i shot in oh nearly at the near post smith gathers it gathers the ball kicks it long let's win that it's three against one oh and it still falls to their player here's simpa on the ball track back we got to track back oh this doesn't this doesn't feel right this feels like it's gonna go yeah ah oh, fall into them again we'll have to sort out what's he doing we have to sort out the second ball. We lose the second ball or second to the second ball all the time. Ah, uh, why are my players just sliding in? Oh my God. Yo, Town, R1, oh, no up. Look, why is, he, why is he just sliding? I don't understand that. And he's got closed down less as well. So I'm not exactly sure why he's even doing that. And Yo, Town have jumped above us. We are the better side. We've been the better side. They've just literally kicked the ball long. They've picked up the second ball twice and then they've went on and scored. And it's 1-1. One, one. Josh Casey, what a volley on the edge of the box. A scorcher from distance. A great goal from a fine move, it says. But, I mean, fairly basic move there. <laughs> a fairly basic team move there. But what a finish by Josh Casey. What a finish. It is 1-1 one, one in this very tight game. And Josh Casey with a corner now. So shot her. Loft how's he, how's he missed? Penalty. It's a penalty. Oh, who's stepping up to take this? Is Kreshma on the pitch? Yes, he is. He's missed a reliable from the spot. Matt's Kreshma from the spot. And he puts it in. It's 2-1 to Woken. From 1-0 down, Woken have turned it around. Oh, that's a nice rhyme there. <laughs> from 2-1 down, Woken have turned it around. And it is now 2-1 inside 30 minutes. Woken move up to third place in the tight. In the title, in the table, it's a corner again to Woken. Are we going to make use of it again? It's Joe McNerney. It's Joe McNerney. I knew it was a risk, but that risk has paid off. It's paid off. He was knackered at the beginning of the game, but I said, you know what? We can't go without. We literally cannot go without. And there is the reason why 
And we go in at half time, 3 1 up to Wolkin. Come on, boys. We're pointing fingers at half time. I don't want this level of performance to slip. And there he is. We recover the ball. Just Casey. Shotten. And we're on top now. Craig Ross. Just the confidence. I can feel the confidence to Von Campbell. I so badly wanted that to go in. <laughs> I so badly wanted that to go in. I mean, look at the XG as well. You can tell that we have been the better side today. It's just Casey on the ball. Well, with a long throw, they've just hoofed it up. No mistakes here, please. Concentration, please. You know what? Shout. Focus, boys. Out to Alex Pike. There's Lofthouse now driving down the byline. F Young to knock it down. Oh, he's had a shot. I thought he was going to knock it down to Campbell there, to the main man. Let's make some subs. Oh, we've got another corner. Let's go back. We've got another corner. Josh Casey shot it. Oh, that was close. So we are going to take... Should we take off a centre back? Last time we did that, it didn't go too well, but we're going to do it this time. And then we're going to tell him to be a cover. Yeah, it's just tell him to be a cover. We're going to drop deep a little bit without dropping that defence line. And we're going to change the left winger as well. Callum roll off. Owen wins are on. 10 minutes left and it looks like Woken are going to walk away with the victory. Ref, 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 pause the game. Let's waste some time. Let's slow down this game. Stay on your feet, son. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well played, boys. Owen Windsor on the ball. Into Ince. Josh Casey. I mean, we are playing that from the back, but that was a bit... Too confident for my liking. Don't let them score today. Don't let them today. Don't let them score this highlight. And they've oh, they've hit the post. They have hit the post. That would have been a very shaky last few minutes there. And there we are. We run away with that 3 1 victory. A very impressive performance there from Walking. Walking away from Yeovil Town with a 3 1 victory. I mean, they were six. They were six. And that puts us where in the table? Ah. Oh. We're still in fourth place. <laughs> After that good performance, we are in fourth place. But now to Von Campbell, wants a new contract. It's not exactly surprising given the form that he's been in, but I'm not sure we can even afford it. Oh, it looks like we may struggle here. We may struggle here. Remove that. <sighs> there he is. He's accepted it. Thank you for not giving us any issues there. But our next game is against Altrinum, who are in 21st place. We should do very well against them. Let's just skip to that game, shall we? Let's skip to that game. Tavon Campbell's been getting all the highlights, but look at this performance from Josh Casey, the left back. He has seven assists to his name. To be fair, some of them are probably from corners. And he also has a 7.74 average rating. So technically, Josh Casey has been the best performing player for Walking. Though, you know, Tavon Campbell on 14 goals. He's just the man. He is the man. He is the man for this Wolken side. But we have approached that game where we are at home to Altrinum. And still the centre-backs aren't completely sharp. They aren't completely ready for this game. So we are going to drop Shotton. That is just due to fitness. And Rohan Ince as well. He looks like he needs a little rest. Jermaine Anderson in. Taron back in as well. We are going to put Taron back in. Effie Young and Campbell, we are going to give them another try against Altrinum here. I'm probably going to take him off defensive duty as well, but just before the game. And then, okay, we'll put Kyron Lofthouse as well. So I shot him might have to come off the bench for Solomon. No, because that will leave us with no central defender. So we can take him out and put Tom Champion. But that's the team all locked and ready. Let's get into this game now against Altrinum where we should be picking up a three points. We are probably huge favorites for this game. So we are going to be pointing our finger at them and just don't let our good run of form come to an end here. Keep it going. Praise that defence. Well, not praise, but motivate that defence. Motivate that midfield and motivate that attack. Let's get into this game, boys. Come on. We can really climb the table here. Well, into third place. <laughs> hopefully Stockport and hopefully Grimsby Town drop some points as well. And I forgot to change Anderson into a supportive duty. There we go. Confirm those changes. Let's get back into this game. Oh, they have an early corner. Oh, there's Kreshma with a free kick into the box. Thompson picks it up with ease. Let's win this. Let's win this, Lofthouse. Well done. Taron, F. Young now on the ball. 
holds it up, plays it to Lofthouse. He drives infield with the ball into Tavon Campbell. He lays it off to Roll. He gives it back to Campbell. Now it's Effie Young with a shot. What a finish. What a goal from outside of the box. Any Effie Young. He has a goal to his name, a fine move and an even better finish. What a finish. Campbell holds up the ball, plays it into roll. He gives it back to Campbell. He puts it into Effion's feet and then what a hit, son. What a hit. I mean, I deserve a sip of my tea after that. So there we are, Woken 1-0 up, 25 minutes in. Well done, Callum Roll winning that header. Senior Malt Thompson, long kick. Let's win that in the air. Unlucky, but we do pick up that second ball. Kyron Lofthouse plays it into F. Young's feet. Oh, unlucky. I saw that eye there. I did see that eye there. He plays it back. Let's win that again. Let's win that. Joe McNerney. Well done, son. Anderson out to Callum Rowe. Drive down that byline. Okay, we're getting a bit sloppy with the passing here, boys. Oh, getting a bit sloppy. We've got to be careful with the passing. Here's Max Kreshmar with a free kick. Is he going to bury it? Oh, Puts it just over. The two strikers are having a good game today. F. Young on a 7.7 .7 and Tavon Campbell on a 7.3. Max Kreshmar with a free kick. Tavon Campbell. It just had to be. A prolific striker. What a striker. And it's 2 0 to Walken. Tavon Campbell on the score sheet. It was inevitable. It was inevitable. I don't think he can go two games without scoring. It's just not in his blood, is it? It is just not in his blood. He won't allow it. But it's 2 0 to Walken. And we are playing fairly decent today. We are having a lot of the ball and we are connecting with our passes as well. It was just on 90% for the passes completed, but it's just dropped down to 89%. Here's Kirby on a free kick and that just goes over the bar. Craig Ross, are we going to play out from the back here? Diara, Anderson, Josh Casey. They're not really pressing us from the front at all. They're just sitting deep. But we find space in between the lines. Here's Taryn. Oh, unlucky. Crush my well done. Taryn now drive down the byline, son. Drive down the byline and put the ball in the box. There's Tavon. Oh, he headed it just wide. That should have been his second of the game. But we go in half time with a 2-0 lead. Again, point fingers. We're ahead on the scoreboard and we certainly deserve to be given the chances we've created. So I am pleased. And that's exactly what we're going to go with. But with the passing, we're just going to knock it down to try and get rid of those long balls constantly trying to play those direct balls and they just intercept it we don't need to play those balls very often anymore we are 2 no up we do have our two goals and we've had 22 shots in the first half absolutely crazy there's kirby on the free kick taron heads it wide or out kirby picks it up again fitzpatrick on the ball this kirby seems to be getting a lot of the ball for out him here here's senior a oh, good block very good block from Walk in there. It looks like it's another corner. Oh, it's just gone wide again. How's he missed that? That looked like a very good chance for Walk in. It could easily be free. It could easily be for in this game. But we're just not that clinical in front of goal yet. We are going to take Callum Rowe off. One lonely off for another lonely on. And we are going to take off in the F Young, though he's got that absolutely belter of a goal. Again, point finger, if I can see it. There he is, point finger. I have faith in you. Come on, boys. There's Kreshmer on the free kick. Joe McNerney has got to be a goal. And it is free to walk in. We are walking all over these teams at the moment. It says Alchem have had 15 shots. I'm not exactly sure <laughs> where those shots have come from. But we've had 31, to be fair. So our last and final sub, just make sure Joe Nerney doesn't die out there. We're going to slow the tempo down again. Waste time. But this time we're going to keep the defensive lines. But yeah, we're going to keep the defensive line, but we're not going to prevent that short goalkeeper distribution. Confirming those changes. Come on, Walken. I want this game to end with a clean sheet. We can do it. We can do it. Craig Ross deserves it. Ah, oh, Anderson injured. Let's take off Tavon Campbell and leave that target forward up top by himself. But that right in there, it's just a beautiful sight. Max Kreshma having a very good game. So to Tavon Campbell and Joe McNerney. But that wraps up the game. Woken 3-0, the clean sheet in the bag. And we keep climbing. We keep climbing up that table. I hope so anyway. I hope so that we didn't drop back down to fourth. Nope. We climbed up to third. And it looks like Stockport and Grimsby both dropped points. Did they both draw? If they even played, I can't even find them. And we are a game in hand with Grimsby Town as well. So that's very nice to know. Where's Stockport? Oh, Stockport won 6-3. Jesus. And Grimsby Town, yeah, they dropped points at home to Notts County. Notts County are a decent team. They smashed us. And they are in fifth place as well. So, 
we did win that game 3-0 another very convincing win can this form keep up next game is the fa cup though against south end away from home let's get to that game so here we are away against south end this is a very important game we need to win this in the emirates fa cup we want to get to the second round and then we want a very big draw in the third round so this game personally is a very big one for me i do like the fa cup i really do it's a treasure of mine and we need to win it <laughs> we need to win it with vulcan fc whether that's this season or in five seasons time it doesn't matter the fa cup trophy needs to be in our trophy cabinet so let's sort out our team for this game we are going to be playing our best team i usually play a rotated side in the cup games but like i said this is a very big game for me we can have seven subs as well which is a bit refreshing I think the tactic is all set, the team are all ready, let's get stuck in to this third and final game of the stream episode, wherever it is, let's get stuck into it, submit that team. We're going to go with a similar instruction that we went with when we played against Yuval Town, so ignore the recent media praise and just go out there, actually nobody expects us to get, actually, <laughs> I wanted to ignore the recent praise in the media, go out and play your game and then try to motivate these little units. A few of us are complacent. That's not really good news, is it? That is not good news at all. But this is the FA Cup. It's a who's trophy. Who's trophy in England? Let's win it. <laughs> I keep saying that. Like we're going to win it this year. Joe McNerney, Ince. Taron on the ball now. Effion. Rohan Ince. Back to Effion. Max Kreshmer. Joe McNerney. Just knocking the ball about now. A little patient. A lot, a lot more patient than we were last game. Oh, look at the football. Look at the football. What happened? We are enjoying ourselves. But F young son. Oh my god. It's like he kicked the floor. That was be that would have been FA Cup goal of the season, surely. Let's encourage the boys. Surely that would have been FA Cup goal of the year or season, whatever they call it. So 33 minutes in, it is South End nil, Woking nil. We don't want this to be a draw either because we already played too many games as it is. We don't want to add to that. It's no nil. There's not much we can do and we don't really want to lose the game either. <laughs> we don't want to lose the game at all. I mean, some of our players are very difficult to motivate. So second half has kicked off. Again, we have been the better side, but that counts for nothing. It's all about the scoreline. Oof. <laughs> South End, they had the opportunity to go 1-0 up We're going to encourage the boys But we are going to make a sub Because look at the body language Absolutely horrendous Rohan Int offers Sam Sam? Solomon Rohan Int offers Solomon and Taron Are we going to take Taron off? Yes, we're going to get Alex Pike on Put Lofthouse in that right mid position I mean, this has a 0-0 written all over it Unless a set piece arrives Oh almost jinx myself there i was gonna say unless a set piece is going to be the thing that that breaks the deadlock but it's a very tight game we've slightly had the better of the chances but nothing too major nothing of note or something worth noting but we do have a free kick here come on come on max Krishma. come on son come on, come on, come on. oh it's the post oh my god it's god the south end I mean, the highlight is still going, actually. Oh, keep on! Oh, keep on! <laughs> oh, my God, man. Why is that highlight still going? Oh. Just conceded in the 90th minute after just hitting the post as well from a free kick. Oh, I don't believe that. Oh, I don't believe we just lost that game. There's no way we deserve to lose that. That's why I'm up. But that was the very last game of this episode. And in the next episode, where should we pick up from? Look, we just lost again. I can't believe that. And I wanted to have a 100% record in this episode, but that just did not happen. We did beat Yuval Town 3-1 and we beat Alchenham 3-0 before losing away to Southend. But we do have to play Southend again, which is where we want to get our revenge in the league. We won't be playing that game next episode, though. We are going to play a few. We are going to skip a few. And I believe we will come back after the FA Trophy third round. So we will be playing Aldershot. A very big game, 
fierce rivals let's get stuck in <laughs> i'll see you guys there i'll see you guys in the next episode where we will start off against aldershot we will play dover and then we will play aldershot again we're playing them twice in the same stream absolute mental scenes that's gonna be very tense a very tense episode and i'll see you guys there if you are new or you haven't yet make sure you are subscribed make sure you like this video that is very important in growing the series also leave a comment to help the algorithm out <laughs> i'll see you guys soon stay safe peace out god bless